Morning, children. Morning. Ready to do chores in the dark? Yeah. It's getting a little, uh, well, how do you say? It's getting lighter later, but we still only have the same amount of time every day. So how do you like being in the spotlight? Yeah, so we're going to try something different this morning. We're going to take the spotlight around, but we still want to have you all around for chores. Uh, I know you can't see me because I'm out of the limelight and spotlight. Um, but we're going to still take you along and try to keep Sally quiet. Brownie. You're going to get eggs first? Yeah. Okay, we'll meet back up. I'm going to do what I can. And uh, we still want to we still want to work together, right? Yeah. That helps. Teamwork makes the dream work, right, Caroline? I know. I saw you chasing malls instead of listening to me. All right. Well, Ma's like light, so you can probably find one in the light at some point. I know, I showed him the moon. I don't know if it'll get on film or not, but it's hard in, with these little cameras. The quality's not great for low light filming. Good morning, Sally. Good morning, Tina. Hey, buddy. Good morning, buddy. Charlie, you're over there somewhere. Laying down. Let's get you all moved. All right, guys, so we're gonna get feed for the garden flock here and try to do the best I can with the lighting I have. Um, sun's not quite up yet, so we're going to get these guys fed, watered, we'll do the chickens, rabbits, and then me and dad will help each other do the pigs because we got to move them today. Come on, let me go, I know, that's different. Don't knock it over, just walk around the bus. There we go, thank you. Come on, buddy. Fresh grass, fresh grass. Charlie. Yeah, come this way. Come on, Charlie. Pick up your feet. Pick up your feet. Thank you. Welcome back, y'all. This is Nathan over at RNL Homestead. Today we're going to be talking about the five things that make life easier for us here on the homestead. Let me show you around. Don't bite me. Oh, oh. What? Oh, there's Brownie. Brownie, what are you doing in here? Brownie, hey, what I say? You can't be in the chicken pen. Go on. All right, guys. As you can see, these chickens are doing great. There's my Polish rooster. He's doing awesome. My other Polish rooster, my silver lace that I'm gonna be keeping. He is doing great. All right, guys. So Karen wanted to show you her two favorite chickens. So we have two chips. One chip's over there. The other if I can chip. show them. So it's that Americana right there. And what other one? And there's another, a third one. 
a second a, one. A second one right there. Right here. That's that little Chip's mom. Yeah. And, and her dad is in the big coop. Who's her dad? Big Red. So, all the chickens are doing good. We gotta get these rabbits fed, though. They're hungry, so let's get them fed. All right, Caroline. I'm gonna need you to film for me. You push the rabbit stick back. All right. Hey, I need you to film for me, okay? Okay. Action. All right. So you can see the rabbits. They're doing good. Hey, baby. How are you doing? You doing good? Yeah. So this is the one that escaped. I don't know if it ever made it on video. Uh, I filmed it, but I don't know if it went on to YouTube. Uh, but she escaped when they were living over there by like the compost bins. But now that they're in here, if they escape, uh, they can't really go anywhere. So it's kind of good that we got them in here. They're doing all good. I'm going to get them fed, though. Caroline's feeding the chickens by hand, and I'll just take you along with chores today. Alrighty, guys. So, Caroline wanted to fill up the bucket for me for the layers. Hey, that has... It's okay if it has a little. Alright. So, I need two and a half scoops. You do that. One. All right, and our half scoop. Wasn't much of a half scoop, but getting a little extra feed won't hurt them. All right, so got their food. Let's go feed them. And then we'll go do the, we'll be moving the little pigs and the big pigs today. So hopefully all that goes well. Number one. Premier one. Man, this ground's hard. Solar energizer. As soon as I get it in the ground, I'll talk a little bit more about it. So we've had this Premier One solar energizer for going on uh, four years, maybe, and still going strong. Uh, very durable, held up very well. This enables us to be portable because that's what we want. We want everything portable, everything mobile. So with the ability to move this around, we can take the cows anywhere we want. We've got the AC energizer that we have for the pigs as well as the cows once we start get, get going on the back pasture. But there are areas like this uh, western side of the property where we don't have high tensile put in yet. So this enables us to move the cows where we want them to go. Um, which makes it much more efficient. We can just focus on these reels. And another one of these O'Brien uh, step-in posts. These have made all the difference. Uh, we started with the tractor supply. Uh, even in a pinch, I don't recommend them. They break. I think we broke at least four or five the first day trying to get them in, trying to get familiar with how to use them. Very brittle. These are, uh, I don't know what they use, some kind of plastic poly, but they bend. They get out of shape. I've run them over with the milk stanchion. Um, they hold up extremely well. I've yet to break one of these. Uh, we've had these going on a year. Um, you know, because we use them for our corners, they kind of get bent and they'll lose their shape, but they straighten right back out. Uh, so those ones that I use on a corner, I'll stick on a straight, let them straighten up for the day, and they're right back to where they were before. Uh, amazing product. You pay maybe a dollar, a dollar fifty extra per stake, but in the long run, it is worth it. They're going to outlast anything else that I've used. 
So that is number two, the O'Brien step and stake. So that's the first two. Come on, let's keep going. All right, let's get the lid on. So this is how you put the Smash, ow, all right, she's gonna carry the bucket all the way over to the chickens, and she won't get in there and feed them because the big red are rooster. She's a little scared of them. He doesn't do anything to you, but she's just a little intimidated by them. She'll feed them from the outside of the fence, and I'll go in there and dump out the bucket. You can see they're still in this spot. Tomorrow we're going to be moving them because it's starting to stink in here. Uh, we need to get them moved uh, probably into the garden over here where all those weeds are. Doesn't look like much of a garden, but that's just where it grew up this year. But yeah, we're going to get these guys fed. I'll show you everybody once they're all done. So come with me to get in here. Tell you what, the, some of the, oh, you're going to get in? Okay. Ugh, got my boot stuck. All right. You can see Caroline is in the chicken fence. And you want me to tell them or you? You. You or me? Okay. All right. So this big boy right here, this is our main rooster, Big Red. We got the little... Silver Lake Polish rooster I got there from Final Home in Bama. The other one's in the garden flock. And we got right here the Salmon Favorable chick right there. Koji's still in the coop. That? Koji's still in the coop? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's Sammy, the Salmon Favorable. Yeah, she's mine. Yep, Callan named it. And and that big guy up there is Big Red Son, Big Red Junior. What? He doesn't hurt anybody. He's just a good rooster. Old lady, Coachy, in here. She's hanging out in the coop. Hey, Coach. We need and Junior. the black and white rooster, hey. which is very scared of everybody. Yeah. So that's a little rundown on yeah. some of the chickens' names. Huh? Look at these nuts. Yep. We threw them a little bit of... Uh, pig food that we had. That's good. Um, that had like acorns and stuff in it because we've been feeding them that, like acorns and stuff off the land. Uh, and we threw a little uh like old pig food in here for them the other day. So we're gonna get out of here. I gotta put y'all down because Caroline's stuck in the net now. And we'll go move the little pigs and big pigs now. Good morning, big piggers. How are you this morning? Y'all get to move today. So we will get back to you in a minute. Can't feed you yet. You won't want to move. We need you motivated and hungry. We'll be back in a little bit. Let's go check on the kids. Carolina, are they trying to knock their water over? Hey, you said the... Chester Pork Ryan, what are you doing? Are you hungry? They look pretty uh, frisky this morning. Are they happy? Yes. Happy little pigs? We're going to move them today. They're going to be even happier. Yeah. See, they did pretty good here. This is all tilled nicely. Uh, we'll probably seed and straw this. If not today, for tomorrow. We still don't have any rain in the forecast, but we gotta get this ground covered. All right, little piggers, you ready to move? Should we pour food over there? Yeah. Maybe give them a little shake, shake, Ty. Ty, can bucket. you grab that bucket? Yeah. Come on, Tester. Come on, poor Ty. Don't 
Water girl has arrived. Nope, I gotta get the rubber mallet and uh, move that energizer. Number three on the list, this five gallon, five, five gallon vacuum seal waterer. It has worked really good. I like it because when the, and when it's summertime, this does really good because the chickens can dip their beaks and get a nice big gulp of water. And it's made our lives a whole lot easier because we don't have to fill it up um, but once a day. So you can see we filled this up yesterday and it's only halfway full. Now granted, it depends on how many chickens you have. But with about 50 chicks in here. A five gallon water works just fine for about a day and a half. So that's one of the advantages with this. We also have a three gallon water, which I'll go show you that right, right now. So you can see this three gallon here. We also have a three gallon. And we love these uh, vacuum seal waterers um, way more than we do these nipple ones, especially in the winter time. These nipples will freeze up. So, I think Big Red and his ladies like this one way more, don't you, bud? Yeah. So, that's number three on the list. Dad will show you number four in just a minute. Alrighty, guys. So, I'm down here at the Big Pigs. Um, and we're going to get them moved. Dad and Mom are dragging the hose down here. And then we'll get started. Oh, you do? How many? Y'all sense a move coming? Also, I had to get up here that way I could show you the back on them good. And see how their backs are black? Hey, okay, baby. Um, don't eat my boot. Ah. Their backs are black. Because over there in that old paddock, there was that charcoal log. And they scratched their backs on it. You can see that one's back's black, too. They're eating hickory nuts right here. So they're all done. We got to get their water barrel over here and then they'll be ready to go. And then all the chores are done. Hey. Oh, hey. How are you? Hey. There's some of them over there. What? Why? Charlie's eating my rope thingy. He's what? He's eating my rope thingy. No, I put it up. No, he's eating. Oh, is he's he trying to get to it? Yeah. Well, he's got a mouthful of grass. See? Look! He was trying to eat it. No, he's just scratching. Oh, well, he's like... <laughs> like that. He's, he's just scratching. Again. Buddy, stay away from that reel. Caroline and I were just chilling. We're done with chores. Mom and Ty, they're down there. Still working. Me and Caroline are taking a break. Because we're old and sore. I'm not sore. Caroline wants to tell you something. Not show them something. Oh, Caroline wants to show you something. Just a minute. What do you, what do you call that? Is that the back twisty flip? Yeah. 
the back twisty jumpy thing. Very nice. Boink. John, see if you can do the jump off the uh, the dome and land on your feet like you did yesterday. Okay. I, I, I know little kids don't do this. I'm bigger. So. Little kids don't do this, but you're bigger. Woohoo! Nice. Self-taught acrobat. One, two, three, jump. Hold on tight. Number four on the list is this pig drinker nippler nipple pig water nipple pig nipple water. Yeah, pig nipple water. So this has been a lifesaver. This 50 gallon water barrel has enabled us to save time save time on chores. It saved us a ton of time and water because the bigger the pigs get, so we were using, because we were using these big um, rubber buckets. What do they call them? Feed barrels, buckets? I don't know. My brain isn't working this morning. We used to fill those with water. I think they hold 20, 15 gallons. But the bigger the pigs get, the more they want to tip them over because they figure out that they can waller in it. So, I mean, we're going through 50, 60, sometimes 70 gallons a day just to try to keep it filled on hot summer evenings or hot summer days. So it saved us a ton of time and water and money. So that's number four on the list. Number five, I'll show you in just a second. And last but not least, number five, the zero turn mower. This thing has been a huge help. It's strong enough to pull the milk stanchion, strong enough to mow our thick grass behind the cows. Uh, we use it for everything. Pulling, towing, pulls the trailer well, and uh, even down in the woods, I mean, we can take it and um, mow a strip for the nets for the pigs. Uh, it's just been a huge help. I think, uh, I think, well, I know it can pull the log splitter too because it's getting into the time where we're going to need to get that log splitter into the woods and get and chopping and splitting, stacking wood for next year as well as this year. We have lots of logs that have been down on the ground. Uh, almost a year, so they're going to be pretty close to being dry and ready. They just need to be split. So, there you go. Our five favorite time-saving, efficient, make-life-easier tools. If you all have any suggestions or additions, feel free to add. Uh, and we'll see if we agree or have them or have something that we need to try out. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna wrap up this video for y'all today. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that little bell button, share this video with your friends and family. Y'all have a good one and God bless.